Hey everybody, this is Pete, and I'd like to kick off a short mini-series of videos based on a really interesting question a customer asked me. What they were curious about was if they could design a tube and pipe run where they could have the hose overlap some other pipe and then be secured with a hose clamp. And they wanted to have some overlap, so in this case about six inches is what they said. And so there wasn't really an out-of-the-box way to do that, so it was kind of fun exploring this a little bit. And I want to share with you the methodology that I kind of worked through to accomplish this goal. So there's going to be, uh, I think, three videos here. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the overlap piece. So there's the three phases are building this little clamping section, then the hose itself, and then we'll talk about maybe how we are we'll talk about how we integrate those into a tube and pipe style that we can use. So I'm going to start out with this hose clamp. Now there's really no way with tube and pipe that I'm aware of to say I want to have this hose go past the connection point. So I cheated the system a little bit by creating this component. And so what I'm going to do is I'll walk you through how I did that and then we'll uh, apply the tube and pipe uh, authoring to it. So here's a brand new one. So I'll kind of give you the basics. First step is I extrude this. Obviously, if you want to take a look at the sketch, it's all centered about the origin. You've got your ID, and then you've got your OD of the tube, and that's where the hose clamp comes in. So I want to extrude the hose clamp, and we'll say a half inch or so. Go ahead and hit OK. Well, actually, we'll hit Apply because I want to do this in two stages. So I'll hit Apply. And then I want to also extrude this hose. Now, this is where it gets really interesting is we're going to go the same direction because I'm going to assume the hose clamp is on the end. So I actually had a parameter I created here called overlap length. I guess I'll show that to you. I probably should have showed that to you. But here is the basis for the shape. And just to show you the parameters, I created a thickness that was for the hose clamp itself. And then there's your overlapping length of six inches. So to make this look realistic, I actually set this to be my inventor library. And then I went to, let's see, I'll grab steel carbon steel there we go so that looks okay but the problem is is not the whole thing is made out of steel so what I ended up doing was I'll pick on some surfaces here holding down the control key and I'll select the inner and outer surfaces and then I happen to know that this is going to be rubber black that's what the hose is made out of so there is the basics of our shape if you're curious, you could, of course, create a, a hole here. I'll go really quick through that. We'll just project this point. Come on. There we go. And we'll do the old midpoint trick to get a hole. Grab this one. Grab that one. Make sure they're not center point format. And then I'll put a center point right in the middle. Perfect. So then when I go to launch my hole, go ahead and create that hole. Uh, I'll screw you through. It's a clearance hole for number eight. Perfect. Cool. So there we have it. There's an idea of a hose clamp. Obviously, I could put a little nut on the back side of that, but it's, it's we're just roughing it in. So there's our design, and we've got that. So if we end up changing the overlap in the future, and we want to do something like three inches, you could have whatever overlap you'd like. So the last step in the process, for at least this portion, is to author the component. So we want to author it with tube and pipe characteristics. So we're going to only have two connections, but this is going to be a little bit of a wrinkle. I want this to be a hose fitting. End one is going to be field attached. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that we use the same point for both. This is going to be where it's a little bit strange. So I'll start there. 
start there. And that it's actually going to connect to the end of the hose. I'll show you that in a second. But this actually would be considered a female connection because we're going to slip this over the top. And <clears throat> I don't want there to be anything here. So we're just going to have it be right at that point. So we do want to flip it though. This is the odd part because the pipe always points away and I want this to actually insert over the top of the pipe. So the arrow is actually going to point in a direction that's a little bit unusual. So I'll go quickly through this next bit. Uh, same connection, same point. Oops, same deal. Zero and zero. Cool. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. It creates that, and then we would publish that part. Now I've already gone through that process. So what I'm going to do is just go back to this assembly and I will suppress run to just so I can show you what this looks like. So if I come back in here, I've already placed this piping so that we can see how this looks. So then if I go into, let's say run one and I want to place a fitting, I can look for, let's see, tube and pipe. There's my fittings, let's find the hose fitting. And there is my overlapping clamp. So when I go to drop this in, I only have the one size currently, I can connect my fitting and see it overlaps the hose or the pipe. And you can have it work both sides. So if I hit the space bar, I could, of course, get the traditional type of engagement, but I flipped it to the inside so that I could show that overlap. So that's phase one, is being able to attach this overlap portion to the end of the pipe. In the next video, I'll demonstrate what we need to do for the hose itself to make this to work and to try and get the links to work out the way that we need. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.